Hello, I'm Alan and I'm helping put together the History Festival for this year and I'm here today with Carly. Hi, I'm Carly and welcome to St Luke's which is the contemporary art space at The Box. The main theme for the History Festival this year is the idea of well-being uh, which feels like a really important thing currently in terms of history and heritage as we think about who we are as a group of people now and as we move forward to the future. So here we are coming out of lockdown and pandemics and, you know, we're really thinking about how we kind of connect with each other and how we can support each other. Um, Carly, how would you feel art is able to impact on well-being for people? Art can support our well-being in so many different ways, whether we're looking and enjoying the art or making it ourselves. And for me, it helps me feel really connected to the present moment. So we're in St Luke's now, which is full of all sorts of contemporary art. Um, what kind of ways do you think we can connect to, to the art that's on display in here? Really simply, just by looking and observing. So we stood by the east window, which was specially commissioned by the box and is a fused glass piece made by a Portuguese artist called Leonor Antunes. It's inspired by the detail from some marbled end papers in a book called The Insects of Suriname, which was a book first published in 1705 by a naturalist called Maria Sibyllus Merriam. So it's really striking to look at. And when you first walk into St. Luke's, it really draws you in from the opposite end of the gallery space and just invites me to really slow down and just take time to really look at all the intricate details within it and all the kind of even the imperfections of the glass and the way that it's been made. That's great. And what about the rest of the space then? Are there other ways that we can connect to the spaces around us? Well, for me, it just feels very peaceful in here. And that's partly due to St. Luke's being an old church that has now been repurposed into a gallery space. Um, and you do definitely get that sense of that calm and quiet contemplation that it would have had as a church. And now it has in another form as an art gallery. So next time you're in an art space, perhaps think about how you can take a mindful approach to what you see in front of you. And we'll be adopting that kind of approach to a great many events and um, engagements that are happening throughout the History Festival. So please keep following what's going on via our History Festival website or perhaps our social media or Facebook and Twitter. And we'll hope to see you again before the end of the month. <laughs>